This is Ms. Polk, AKA Maestra, if you follow me on BandLab. I'm gonna take you through the simple steps to create the music for your exercise routine or for your art project that you will hear about later. So all you need to do is just click continue with Google and it should take you right to the actual uh, platform. So once you are here, let's click create and that will take us straight into the mix editor. And once you're there, you're gonna have this pop up. So for now, we're, we're not really worried about instruments or drum machines or anything or the guitar, or the bass. We're working solely with loops. So click on browse loops. That gives you all the loop packs that have all kinds of sounds to choose from. BandLab actually just uploaded a lot of cool loop packs such as Turbo Trap. And that's the one that we're gonna be focusing on to make this beat today. So we're gonna go ahead and click inside of there. And if I were you, I would just take a few minutes just to go through and explore all the different types of sounds. And if you notice, everything starts with turbo. Now let's make the magic. I'm going to take you through the steps on how I created the Fab Turbo Trap track. Start off with choosing a Turbo Trap drum. This is what will play throughout the whole song. It never changes. It's like our steady beat, basically. So I chose the Turbo Trap Drum 9. And we're gonna drag it into the, dare I say it? We're gonna drag it into the box. And make sure you drag it all the way to the beginning. Make sure it starts right at one. If you need to, you drag it over a little bit. So now we need this to be longer. It needs to go all the way to 37. If you see these numbers up here, we've probably called them bars, but they're also called measures as well. And we need to get this all the way to 37. So take your cursor, make sure it turns to the arrow that's going this way. Then you click and you drag. We're gonna drag that all the way to 37. At this point, since we just have our continuous steady drum beat, let's hear what that sounds like. So that's what we're gonna start with. So now let's get to the actual exercise sounds. So for push-ups, we went with Turbo Trap Synth 1. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click it, we're gonna drag it into the box. And now we're not gonna start it at the beginning because if you listen to the song again, you actually had four measures or four bars to you know, get your stretching done or you know, do your neck side to side to get yourself loosened up. So we're actually gonna start this at bar five. And each exercise has to last for eight bars or eight measures. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need this loop to go all the way to 12. And just to get this out of the way, you can click on here to get rid of the loop box and then it's a little more clear. So let's drag that all the way through 12 and it stops at 13. Now here's a quick tip. You may notice that something looks a little bit off right here it's a little bit extra sounds that's going to happen. So that actually tells me that something's off on one of the bars because it didn't stop or the loop didn't end when it was supposed to. So what we're going to do is we're going to click and we're going to drag this to make sure it lines up right at the five and it starts right at five. As you see, it kind of locks like a magnet once you do that. Then we're going to go back here and we're going to drag it back so it stops and it cuts off perfectly. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through one more time for the high knees and we'll go through this quickly and then we'll just get everything else set up and we'll get the song going. So if you got rid of your loop box, go ahead and click the loops and they'll appear right here. So for high knees, we did Turbo Trap Synth 40. So let's 
find that down here, send 40, let's keep going. All right, let's drag that into the box. So this is gonna start right after what we did for push-ups, And make sure it lines up with 13 because that's gonna start on 13. So now remember it has to go for eight bars. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we gotta drag this all the way through measure 20 and it stops at 21. And there you go, it goes really quick after that. 